Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. As you can probably see from the thumbnail, we're going to be doing a DIY on some pants today. Before we get started, I just wanted to apologize for really not posting at all in about two years, but we're gonna try and be better and keep posting more, so stay tuned for some fun videos in the future. And without further ado, let's get started. You can probably see from the thumbnail, we are gonna be doing a DIY on some pants today. We are gonna be painting some mushrooms, but you can really paint whatever you want. This is just an idea of what you can do to customize a pair of pants. I just went to the thrift store and got a pair of pants because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them just because I knew we were going to be painting them. So I suggest just go to a thrift store somewhere cheap where you can find a nice cheap pair of pants. I also went to the fabric store to get some fabric paints. The basic colors, we did get some brown for the stems of the mushrooms, some white to lighten that up, red, orange, purple, green for the mushrooms. So you can either do those colors or you can really do whatever you want that's the cool thing about this project all you'll need is your paint the pants and some paint brushes other than that that's really all you need to get started in this project now let's just cut to the voiceover I just went step by step on what I did to create the pants just so you can follow along if you do decide to do it yourself as well um, if you do post it on Instagram tag me at Prozac fashion because I really would love to see um, your creations that you make so let's get started Hey guys, welcome to the voiceover portion of the video. Let's get started. As you can see here, first I tried to outline with pencil just so I could get what I wanted to do. As you can see, that wasn't showing up too much, so in this next clip you will see me going over everything with Sharpie instead of pencil just so you can see everything a lot better. After you're done doing the outline of the mushrooms, go ahead and lay out all your paints. I just put all the colors that I was going to use in a palette, but you can use a plate from your kitchen or a paper plate, or really whatever you have would be fine as well, and go ahead and start painting the paint. Once you have all your paints ready, you're good to start painting the mushrooms. As you can see here, I did have to use a lot of coats of colors just because they weren't showing up as vibrant as I wanted them to. So you can see later on the video, I decided to do a base coat of white and then paint the colors on top of that. As you can see right here in this next clip, just by putting that base coat of white on top before the colors, it just makes them stand out a lot better as well. Once you're done with all the colors, go ahead and paint the stem. Once you're done with the stem, you can go ahead and move on to the underside of the mushroom. I just mix some brown and white paint to make a light tan color to paint the bottom of the mushroom. Once all the basic colors of the mushrooms are on and everything is dry, you're good to just get some white paint and a fine tip brush and just put white little polka dots all over the mushrooms wherever you want them. And I just think it gives a really cute cartoony look to the mushrooms and helps them stand out a lot. After you let the polka dots dry, go ahead and just get some brown paint and again a fine tip brush and just paint little lines right underneath the mushrooms just how I'm doing this video just for those gills of the mushrooms on the underside. Once that is all dry, go ahead and outline everything with Sharpie including the polka dots. You don't have to outline the gills on the bottom of it but do outline the polka dots. Once that Sharpie is dry, go ahead and paint on the accents of gold. I did them on every single mushroom, but you don't have to do it on all of the mushrooms or at all if you don't want to. All 
All right, thanks for tuning into today's video. I really hope you liked that little voiceover and I hope it gave you enough information to feel confident in creating this project yourself. If you do end up making it yourself, please post it on Instagram, tag me at Prozac underscore fashion because I would really love to check it out. Especially if you did something other than mushrooms, I really want to see that. So definitely tag me on Instagram if you do create this project. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you have any constructive criticism on things I could do better with my videos or just ideas that you want me to make videos on, go ahead and post those in the comments. That's just about it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time.